Feeling so lonely And I just don't know why Could it be all of these phonies Telling me all these lies Maybe it is my, my name's Adam Copley And I'm 19 years old And all those times that it felt real It was all counterfeit What if I had a second chance And I could just go back Man, I'll do it all again and again Regrets not even in my vocab uh, how did I get into riding? Um, I started off skateboarding when I was down here, when this park first opened in, what, 2007 was it? And then I see a couple of couple of mates in my older brother's year come down and start riding their bikes and I thought it looked pretty cool so decided to buy myself a bike and then started then, so what, 2008 I started riding properly. Haven't stopped since. I'll be walking on clouds when you see me And you're never gonna bring me down Cause we've all made mistakes and you're easy to replace So look who's laughing now Tell me how to live Well, who do I look up to? Um, obviously to get me into riding it was sort of the local lads but then I started researching BMX and saw a video of Mark Webb, who's a rider from Southampton. I went went down there to see the skate park and see him ride for a bit, and then that was it. I started looking up to him, copying his riding in a way, just without a break, and half as good. Every other up and comer did last year, and if that means we'll be flying all by ourselves, then man, keep your wings, I can glide minus your help. I'll be fine, do it in my own. All I need my heartbeat to be that metronome. How often do I ride? Um, before Sam asked me to do this little documentary slash edit for his college, I hadn't ridden for about three months from a previous injury on my ankle with the to do with the tendons. So this is probably the first time I've ridden in three months. But I ride pretty much every week. So. Yeah, that was the old me. I'll be walking on clouds when you see me. While I've been on my bike, I've had many injuries, uh, sort of like from concussions to breaking bones. I think my worst ones probably when I broke my leg. That was uh, Corby in Northamptonshire. Did a backflip over the new jump box, and I don't know, kind of like feet came off the pedals, started doing like a Superman, and then that was it. Like feet hit the floor, and then snap went my leg. And that was it. Shin bone. it is how my ex girls. That I was in shit And all those times that it felt real It was all counterfeit What if I had a second My favourite park to ride That is probably um, Wooden Waves in Newquay It's by far my favourite one It's probably one of the biggest outdoor parks that I've ridden And it, I met a lot of great people down there And a lot of good mates that I'm, I still talk to now um, I haven't been down there for a good couple of years now, so I do need to get back down there to see him. But that is my, by far my favourite place to ride. Yeah. Those pedals and these people talking like we foreigners, making hits easy like girls up at them street corners. I'll be walking on clouds when you see me, and you're never gonna bring me down. Cause we've all made mistakes and you're easy to replace. So. Look who's laughing now, laughing now. Tell me how to live. What's my best memory of riding? Um, probably when it was quite recent to be fair, it was when me and a couple of mates started making like videos for YouTube, like websites in a way. And uh, yeah, it was just really good to like be riding with them pretty much every day, making videos, just having a laugh, doing what we usually do and then yeah. I mean, after that, like, I haven't really spoken to them boys for quite a while, so but that was probably one of the best memories because it's just with mates all the time. That's just what I like. So. I'll be fine, do it in my own. All I need my heartbeat to be that metronome. Cause we have the music you've been looking for, and we are the reason you don't look no more. Man, I'm moonwalking on clouds. Look me at my dude, how much you talk about now? You say that we just make the rhythms for the mainstream. I agree, but I target it for the brainstream. When I told you I was lonely I enjoy riding for the social aspect I mean, I've met so many people through it From various different parks um, I mean, 
half of my friendship group I met down at the skate park, whether or not they ride now or didn't ride then. It was just a way of me becoming mates and I, I just seem more social when I'm down at skate park because obviously you're not surrounded by really old people and everyone's into the same thing that you are. So that's probably why I like it that much. It's not even in my vocab, cause I'm living every second like this one could be my last. Never fall every time to the cash or the glass. Live it up, live it up. When you die, to give it up. Would I recommend it? I would recommend it. Yeah, I, I would recommend it really highly, but I mean, there's obviously the safety aspect of hurting yourself, which if you're scared of like doing, going fast or going big and, and, if, and yeah, it's a money aspect as well. Because my bike, when all the parts were brand new, I know now it's, like scratched up and banged up and dented and it's probably worth about three quid but when I bought all the parts I probably did spend a good seven, eight hundred pound to get the bike. So it's a money aspect as well as hurt, getting scared of hurting yourself. If you're scared of hurting yourself I wouldn't really recommend it but if you want to go do things and show off and you're that type of person, then yeah, go for it, get a bike. Live. Tell me how to separate myself from other kids. And if I write rhymes, will that make me popular? Then I might rise, read it, not their mom made her. I was born with competitive.